Whoa, whoa. They ain't never seen nothing like this before. Lit the room when I came through the front door. Ask me if I should suffer, come work for. Train in the trees, please walk my sycamore. Touch burning sands, cross lands and Still me sure, sure seasons in the year, yeah. Ain't no channel for champions and chain no fear. Yeah, the champ is here. So welcome back to YouTube guys. As you can see why I've been quiet on my videos and this is something I've wanted done for a long time uh, you'll see many videos where you think I'm bald or I'm constantly like brushing my hair over or gust of wind comes and, and then I look like Tintin so yeah uh, this is essentially why I've not posted any videos of Tommy Mako, etc. Uh, I have been generally busy. Uh, did a look just. I'm not going to video everything, guys, for you. I mean, I did a clutch on the on a little Peugeot 107. Absolutely no point. Who wants to watch that? I uh, see a couple of YouTube videos, and you think changing the door handle on my Citroen Berlingo, and you're like, really? I, is anybody interested in that? I'm not particularly. So uh, to keep you update where we are is I've actually started work again on the Tommy Mackinnon. That's on the lift. Now we got the timing belt all stripped off. Had a look going to that to change time belt and water pump. Turned out water pump was wrong. I was out of the send back date. So that's my... £45 paperweight so I've ordered a new water pump that comes at weekend I uh, did post a clip on that little moped engine I'd got in bits with all the gearbox stripped so that's all built up not going to video that who wants to watch a derby send a 50 engine uh, split into a million pieces and put back together a bit boring so no I've not videoed that either so which is why I've been quiet uh, yeah pretty much that's it so when I get back I've got they're telling me I've got to take it easy take it steady but I will be putting the timing belt kit back on the Tommy Mark and doing a few jobs on that and getting that sorted so I will video that for you guys uh, and I'm going to touch on this hair transplant because I don't know I've had a lot of my friends who's messaged me now and said did it hurt Dave uh, etc etc and the answer is I'm not gonna lie the injections to numb you come keen they really do but once that's done and over it's uh, let me prop you up uh, yeah once that's done and over it's uh, plain sailing really I mean the take the donor areas off the side of your head and replant it in the front and then obviously I've got some in the penalty spot so the injections are put in come keen uh, but they're bearable they're just uncomfy really you know the ones where you make your leg kick like you when you go dentist uh, but once I had that done I will then face down for about two hour like moving me left and right uh, and what they do they drill all the uh, little follicles out the back of your head because your donor area around here like a monk monks don't lose it because your hair around here is susceptible to loss it will regrow so that's where all your donor comes from which is why i've got this bandage on first night uh yeah i'll drop that in way so yeah so i was laid face down and i actually fell asleep <laughs> several times so that's how much it doesn't hurt I fell asleep while I was taking all the graphs out so like, and I woke up a couple of times because like I think because I snore and I think I actually woke myself up with snoring uh, yeah so did that then we flip you over oh, and by the way for any thing you don't get an happy ending with this <laughs> we flip you over and then uh, they do then flips me over inject the front of your head 
here just to put some stuff in and then the doctor comes in with like a sapphire needle like a sapphire crystal like really sharp point needle and he puts all the incisions in but you can't feel it honestly it's like someone's just just going tap 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 on your head that's all you can feel so he does that and then the girls come back in because Obviously the doctor's not going to do all the Joey work, is he? So Joey's come back in and then they just they get like a, I think it's like a little pen because I could hear the clicking and but I can't see obviously because they covered my eyes. I was you know uh, I was I, I was a bit nervous but I weren't. So anyway they come back in and then they start implanting all the grafts they took out of here. They just implant it there so I've had all the usual jokes oh you've got pubes on your head or you've got arsehole hair on your head <laughs> you know all the typical stuff but it's not it, 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 it's like if you've got a lovely lawn in your backyard and you know you want some in your front yard if you tear it up and it, you know it'll regrow why not have lawn in your front garden as well that's my analogy so yeah uh, that's why I've been quiet that's why I've not uploaded anything so uh, I've got to wear, like I said wear this bandage and I've got to wear this like uh, this little hat if I go out just for a few days uh, but yeah so if there's any comments any of you guys who follow me who are intrigued into having it done just drop me a message I'll uh, happily give you the details. I mean, it's all been. What's it cost me? It's cost cost me two eighty for the flight because you got to pay for your own flights. There's no money up front, just your flights, and then you send them. Come, you book a date in with them. You book your flights, and then uh, send them confirmation, and then they know you're, you're serious. So they don't even need want a deposit up front. So it's cost me 280 with flights and it was 2310 euro. So I don't know what it works out at. Two grandish I would have thought. So about 20 to 2300 quid for it done. So oh yeah, at end I forgot to tell you they've put like PRP. This it's like uh, inject your head with PRP, it's supposed to make it heal better. So yeah, about 2300 quid. They picked me up from airport. Uh, come straight back drop me off and for just run you about so uh yeah pretty much so yeah cheers for coming guys uh a little bit of boring video but it, just a bit of an insight as to uh, what i've been doing so cheers for coming and i'll see you next next time with some more car related stuff not hair and follicles and injections cheers
victory lap, though. Whoa, whoa, they ain't never seen.